so the video that I am making today is about the things that you may think are bad that actually are not. So the first one is not caring. A lot of the times we care too much about other people, about what they think, about what they say, about how they feel, about what they do. And usually it ain't our business. We don't have no control over any of those things. So not caring and letting people be is actually beneficial to our lives, to our mental health, <laughs> to other people, to just stay in our lane, mind our business, and not try to dictate how other people show up and the experience they want to have because they're the main character of their story and we're the main character of ours. Everybody is doing things for their own personal benefit, whether they think they are doing it for other people or not. We want to feel a certain way because we want to present ourselves a certain way because we want people to think about us a certain way. All of what we do is driven by that. When we decide to stop caring, we're not trying to manipulate other people's reality. We're not trying to convince anybody of anything. We're not trying to force anything. We are just surrendering to what is allowing people to show up how they want to show up, have the experience that they want to have without our interference is freeing to everybody involved. The second thing that we often think is bad, but it's really not, is the idea that failure is something that we want to avoid. When is the last time you failed at something and you didn't learn how to do the thing better? You didn't learn more about yourself, more about what or who you were interacting with. I read a book by Ian Levinson several years ago titled Value in the Valley. And this is exactly what she talked about, how it might not be apparent what the value is. It might not be right there laid out, spelled out for you, but if you dig deep usually you can find something in the experience that you can benefit from that can add value to your life i always try to find the value in any obstacle or whatever experience i have the next thing that we've been taught that is bad, but it really, really ain't, is that we shouldn't quit. Although we have to be aware of mind tricks, sometimes it's just your brain trying to keep you comfortable. So you have to be aware of the tricks that your mind might be playing on you. And sometimes maybe you should push through and see what's on the other side, but sometimes it's valuable to quit like if you gave it if you've given it a valiant effort if you've pivoted and you've tried some things and you've given it all you think that you have and you're still unhappy and you've sat with it you've sat with yourself you've questioned the situation and you still don't feel like something is aligning with you sometimes for me i want to do something until completion but at the same time it's like sometimes you don't even have to go that far you can stop before you've exerted too much energy and just be done with the thing but society makes us think that quitting is bad and you should find um a way to make it work out and sometimes just forcing the issue is not to our benefit sometimes we have to learn that we need to just let shit go because it's not worth it 
And learning to say no is very, very important because then we can avoid getting in situations where we might find ourselves wanting to quit. And we have to go into situations prepared that things might feel tough, especially when we're learning something new, we're doing something new. There's going to be a learning curve. So if we prepared ourselves mentally for the friction that might arise from doing something different or trying something new, and we know all of that, we experience it, and then we decide this shit ain't worth it. That needs to be okay. It needs to be what it is. Not that we should take quitting lightly, but it should be an option that is guilt-free. What's for you is for you. And that ain't everything. If you weigh all of the pros and cons and you've given it careful, careful consideration and you know what it is that you are giving up and what you are gaining by quitting and the gains are outweighing the sacrifice or the cost, then by all means, quit. Nobody should feel like they are being held hostage to do some shit they don't want to do. Quitting when you are a part of a team or your contribution or lack of contribution is going to affect other people is, I think, one of the main reasons why people might consider quitting as like a bad thing. But even still, if it is not ultimately benefiting you and you're just doing it for the benefit of other people that ain't gonna work that's not gonna work if you are a habitual quitter that's another situation <laughs> that's another conversation to have but sometimes it is the answer questions that you can ask yourself before you make the decision to quit ego helps us with self-preservation motivation self-development there are so many good reasons uses of having an ego and not shunning the ego the ego gets a bad rap but your ego wants you to succeed drives you to try hard and to be the best you can be because you feel like you're worth it when we have negative thoughts we don't have to embrace them as our own um we've probably picked them up somewhere they were given to us they are just out there in the collective consciousness floating around and we happen to attract them due to our own vibration you're not the originator of the negative thought that just came in your mind well, negative thoughts are typically not true to the extent that we think they are it's probably not as exaggerated as we would like to believe. Negative feelings are simply signposts to let you know what you are believing or focusing on, the stories you have inside that need to be changed. And so negative feelings are to help you see what you need to evaluate within yourself. And if it doesn't feel right, taking another look at what you want to believe and changing it if you need to so what have you found that you've been told in the past or believed was negative then when you dove into it a little deeper figured out that it was not that is all for this one until next time peace